never looked at your GFO big query expert and thought, where is my purchase revenue? It is there, just hidden inside event parameters. Let me show you how to extract it. Hey, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio expert and marketing BI analyst. On my website, you will find Looker Studio templates for marketing and sales and blog about Google Sheets, Looker Studio and BigQuery for marketing and, and marketing analytics. Subscribe to my blog and get a free Looker Studio template based on G4 data. So let's back to our content. Uh, when G4 export events to BigQuery, it stores most values like revenue, transactions, IDs, paid locations and event parameters. I already prepared the code for you and uh, let's observe this code together. So if we go to events, we can see uh, this is my G4 folder. Um, we have event parameters and we have key and value. So we need to query and this is array. So we need to uh, unnest and group this array to data. Uh, what I did here. No, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to save it close. Uh, I need to use new query. So. I want to unnest this parameter and see uh, what we have there. So, uh, when first of all, when I start my query, I query my tab table. So I uh, I do select from, and from I take go to my Google Analytics event three dots copy ID and I can put I paste it here. Then I want to know event name is purchase. If we check our preview, we have different events here and every row, each row it is event, uh, visited store, blah, 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 visited store and some of this event are purchases. Um, so I didn't have like, I think I didn't, don't have, I had nothing. Um, so we have event name purchase. So I do clause event name purchase. And uh, then I use event parameters. In my event parameters, I have value integer, uh, string, and string. So uh, how do I know which event parameters do I have, actually? For this, I can do... Um, let me copy this query again. I can do select distinct... Distinct... Distinct means unique. And I want to query event parameters. Where is it? Schema. Uh, just event parameters key. I want to event parameters. Okay. Um, okay. Where? Uh, I need to do unnest uh, event parameters, unnest. Okay, let's make it back, back here. Um, I do this query. I do this sub query. Um, let me do it like this. Select a value string from unnest parameter uh, uh, we need to add it here and here as a event parameter and can I do like this event parameter not like this let me pause this video
So to okay to know uh, which event parameters do we have, we can go to this query and we select distinct. Um, we do our query from we unnest event parameter as EP and uh, we query all K. We want to see all K, all possible uh, options for parameter and. Uh, Let's do this, let's query, and you can see all event parameters that we have for purchases. And you have a list of 20 parameters that could be added for purchase. So you can select some of them, uh, like, uh, like currency for example, and uh, we can modify this query and add. Uh, so we do select a value string from a nest way k is currency for example i want to know currency of my purchases and uh, we can do so here on this query we do a nest after so we do after uh, we declare uh, what which table do we query uh, and here we don't need to do it we unnest only for each column and uh, where k is currency return us a string value it's string um yeah so this is options which values do we have and we can run this query can we uh if it is green we can run this query yeah it's green i can run this query and we can see we can find transaction id page location um and other information about your purchases. So this query lets you access uh, real purchase value, see which page the user converted on or find your transaction ID. Uh, once you get this, building revenue dashboard becomes much easier and you can use it for different marketing um, dashboard and uh, is a part of a query. This video was helpful. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you want more G4 and BigQuery tips. Bye bye!